the Council on Foreign Relations, and the Royal Institute of International Affairs are adept at using the media to create massive psychopolitical operations used to manipulate public opinion. The psychopolitical operations are often designed to create tensions between different groups of people. The object is to keep the world in a state of perpetual tension and warfare to maximize profits from CFRIA munition, medicine, media, energy, and food businesses. One of the CFR has only 3,000 members yet they control over three quarters of the nation's wealth. The CFR runs the State Department and the CLA. The CFR has placed 100 CFR members in every presidential administration since Woodrow Wilson. They work together to misinform and disinform the president to act in the best interest of the CFR, not the best interest of the American people. At least five presidents, Eisenhower, Ford, Carter, Bush, and Clinton, have been members of the CFR. The CFR has packed every Supreme Court with CFR insiders. Three CFR members, Stephen Breyer, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Sandra Day O'Connor, sit on the Supreme Court. The CFR's British counterpart is the Royal Institute of International Affairs. The members of these groups profit by creating tension and hate. Their targets include British and American citizens. The 100 CFR members that surround the president are the secret team. The secret team help carry out psychopolitical operations scripted by CFR members in the State Department and the intelligence organizations. The psychopolitical operations are coordinated by a group of counsel, on foreign relations members called the Special Group. The Special Group evolved from the Psychological Strategy Board. President Truman issued an executive order establishing the Psychological Strategy Board. The board was run by CFR members Gordon Gray and Henry Kissinger. The PSB has close ties to the State Department and intelligence organizations. The purpose of the PSB was to coordinate psychopolitical operations. Many of those operations were focused at Americans. The people became wary of the Psychological Strategy Board. Eisenhower issued an executive order changing its name to the Operations Coordination Board. The OCB was a bigger more powerful PSB. Gray and Kissinger ran the OCB too. President Kennedy abolished the OCB. It became an ad hoc committee called the Special Group, which exists today. The PSBOCB Special Group always has CFR members running and sitting on it. Since the Special Group was not formed by executive order it cannot be abolished. On September 12, 1939, the Council on Foreign Relations began to take control of the Department of State. On that day Hamilton Fish Armstrong, editor of Foreign Affairs, and Walter H. Mallory, executive director of the Council on Foreign Relations, paid a visit to the State Department. The Council proposed forming groups of experts to proceed with research in the general areas of security, armament, economic, political, and territorial problems. The State Department accepted the proposal. The project, 1939-1945, was called Council on Foreign Relations War and Peace Studies. Hamilton Fish Armstrong was executive director.